Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are doing, I'm like so excited to have filmed this today. It is the new Menagerie Pastel Pup. I did a first impression. I did this eye look. I will have that for you guys in a little bit. But this is what she looks like. This is currently sold out on the Menagerie website. This did retail for I believe $36. Um, it sold out within the first 30 minutes. Um, this is a mostly matte palette with one trifoil shimmer shade that's this blue down here at the bottom. Snowball. I do have swatches that will be up for you guys as well after I kind of talk about the palette a little bit. So um, with this collection, there also came three other um, like trifoil shadows. They retailed for $6 each. Um, I have them in this palette, but they are these three right here. So this pink is Bunny, and then the yellow is Chicky, and then the green is Turtle something. Let me double check. Turtle Club. So I used, um, in my look today, I used Turtle Club, and then I used Chicky. I did not use the pink or the snowball that came in the palette. Um, but overall, I want to play with this palette more. I felt like the swatches were a little lackluster for what I was expecting. I wish they had a little bit more pigment to them. I thought a couple of the shades were a little difficult to build up. That yellow I have in my inner corners, um, kind of, but I have went over that with a shimmer shade since then. But you guys can see in the swatches, some of them just don't really build up very well and I tried to do that. I do know um, this fishy shade right here I didn't actually really use. I did use it just a little bit in the eye look um, right under um, my lower lash line a bit in the very inner corner um, and I felt like the swatch of that wasn't like the best um, but I definitely, I definitely like the look that I did. I think it looks really nice. I'll have a close up for you guys so you guys can see everything um, like I always do. But overall, I think it's a really nice palette. I love, love, love this packaging. I love the outer little seal here. And even on the back, there's like a little tiny seal. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, but I really do like Menagerie overall as a brand, so I want to definitely keep playing with this. If you guys want me to do like a three looks, one palette, I can do that with this. Um, I just really wanted to get this out today because this just came in my mailbox today. Um, it is three o'clock. I got this like two hours ago, so I took a shower and I was like, okay, I'll film. But overall, I do think this is a really nice palette. Um, I, I had talked about wanting more pastel, pastel palettes. I definitely like this better. I think the blends look a lot nicer than the um, Morphe palette that I bought, the pastel palette from Morphe. I think this is definitely better than that. Um, but again, I do want to keep playing with this. But overall, so far, I like it. I enjoyed it. I used every shade besides um, this bottom row I didn't use anything from here today and then in this middle row I did not use Ice Worm or Aquatic but I used all of the other seven shadows so I used ah, so I used this one and then every single shadow above that I also used so I definitely I got a good feel for several of the shades here but I don't know when this is going to be restocking. I know with Corona going on right now, there's a lot of like uncertainty is when stuff is going to be able to ship from China since so much stuff is um, like shut down right now. Menagerie is a US owned brand, but I do believe some of their materials do come from China. Um, so I think that's some of their pigments they need to wait on. So I think there will be a little bit of time before this can be restocked, unfortunately. Um, but right now, oh, so this is how it came packaged. And then I ordered, oh, there's stuff on my desk on. So I ordered the palette, the pastel pup palette, and then the three trifoils, trifoil shadows that didn't come in the palette one of them did come in the palette so those are those three also this packaging is like 
super nice and thick. I really like this new packaging. <clears throat> and then, here it is. I'm so excited. So, I just obviously got out of the shower, but we're going to do some makeup. And so this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. Oh. So here it is. It looks so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some swatches before I do my eye look. I already did set and prime my lids. So I'm going to do some swatches for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so first off, they feel really soft. Oh, so pretty. So I'm just going to go across row by row. So that's what the palette looks like. I am going to swatch the other three shadows as well. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to wipe off this arm and then maybe I'll just use this arm to do that. No, I'm just going to wipe this arm off. So that black definitely has some staying power. The other ones came off, but that black is really holding on. So let's go ahead and open these ones up now. These are really nicely packed though. So this is pretty thick, and I believe this is on a magnet. Yeah, so these are all sitting on their own little magnets in here, so this is really nice. So this one is Turtle Club. Is my arm dry? I'm going to wait for my arm to dry a little bit more, so I'm going to open up all of these. Rather than be safe. And so this is Chicky. It's the yellow. And then the last one is the pink, and the pink is called Bunny. Okay, I think my arm's dry enough now. So I'm going to swatch them across. This so far seems to feel pretty chunky like the other one did in the palette. Okay, so yeah, that looks really chunky on my fingers. I don't know if you guys can see that. But let's go ahead. The first one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm definitely using that. I love that shade. And then the yellow... Ooh, did you see all that chunk off? Maybe I got too much on my finger. And then the pink. Okay, that has a really nice purple shift. So I definitely think my favorite is that green one. I love that. So now that we've swatched them all, let's go ahead and get into the demo. I'm going to wipe these off my arm. Okay, so I'm going to put these in a palette. I'm just going to use my Cleona shadows and shove them in there. Okay, so I'm taking the Sigma E27 and I'm just going to pick up that Sunbathe, which again is that yellow. I'm going to tap off. It has a bit of pickup. I'm just going to tap this in here. Okay, so it's definitely going to have to be something you build up. I'm getting that for sure. But it's decently powdery so that's where we're at that is picking up i hope you guys can see that i don't know if my like light is washing that out or not but it is there i hope you can see it's hard to tell my viewfinder because there's so many lights like at me right now it's hard to really see okay i'm gonna take yeah you guys can see that so i'm gonna take one of my refer the refer number one and i'm gonna go in to Flipper, which is the, the green right next to the yellow. Again, pretty powdery, and I'm just going to tap this in here. Okay, so this is showing up pretty good on the eye. 
that makes me happy. So I'm just going to tap this to blend it. And then I am going to blend this down. Kind of in like a line. And blend it into that yellow. So that's blending out really nicely. So I'm going in now with ice cap right there. My arm is like hitting this. So this is not like as pigmented as the green. Let's see if I like, if I don't tap off all of the extra powder, if I can really pack it on. And I will come back. I'm going to blend that. That looks rough, but I am going to blend that. I just want to place it where I want it first. Now I'm going to clean off the brush so it doesn't get like extra product on there. And I'm just going to go into this and slowly blend these edges out of it. Okay, I'm going to go in with the same brush and I'm going to go into Belly Slide, which is that first purple shade. I'm going to tap this. On our lid here, the outer, very outer portion. So that's where we're looking right now. I'm gonna clean this off and try to like blend all of this. Okay, so I don't know. I like what it's looking like in person. I hope it's like showing up the same on camera. So let's do our lower lash line. Maybe I'll do those pinks now. I'm gonna try snack. So I'm gonna use a pencil brush. I'm gonna clean it off really quick. And then this is our refer. Number three, so I'm going to go in, I think, with a snack right here for the lower lash line. And maybe I'll finish with, okay, I'm going to take, I'm not going to clean this off. I'm going to go into Fishy, which is that, like, orangey shade. And I'm going to bring this kind of meeting that yellow to my lower lash line just to like soften it up a bit. And what the heck, I might as well put that other pink on there too. Okay, so lower lash line is done. So I'm gonna go in, like I said, I think I just wanna use that one green shade. I thought that was the prettiest. So I'm gonna use my finger, I hope I don't regret this, and just kinda tap it in this region. So I'm gonna have to put something in my inner corner but I'll probably use the yellow and I'm gonna use a brush for that. This has like a ton of fallout all over my face so I'm really glad I waited to do my makeup. Like my face makeup. So now I'm gonna go in and wipe my hand off. Ooh. So I'm gonna go into the chicky shade which is that yellow. I'm just gonna tap some on this brush. I'm gonna tap a bit off and then I'm just gonna place this here. So that is going to be, I think, the completed look. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, come back and give you guys like a first impression. But yeah, there is where we are at right now. I will be right back. Okay, so that is everything for today's video. I have the rest of my face done. I put mascara on. I did not put any eyeliner on today. I just kind of like, well, I kind of forgot and then I was like, I don't really want to mess with it. So I just went without eyeliner today. Um, but yeah, I am really liking this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks. Bye.